in this month's article, I talk about getting your husband, boyfriend to get you the best equipment that he can afford to get you. Maybe you get it yourself, but you get the best that you can afford to get. The reason for that is that's what it requires to do it right. Um, and in the article, we touch on that with four ladies that fish with me that what they all have in common besides having, you know, you know, mad skills at fishing is they have husbands that provide them the best that they can provide them. It's good stuff, you know. Also, one of the things I talk about is not bulking up. In other words, don't have so much stuff that you can't move. And I see it all the time, you know, a wading belt and it's got rod holders and place to put a drink and you can put four to loop, you know, four of these in there and a, a big long stringer and a net and a, a, a bait tamer bag. And I'm like, gee, that's too much. I mean, it's, you got too much stuff. You know, when you catch fish, you, you're, you're trying to keep it from getting in all your stuff. So, you know, go simple and I'm simplistic. Small wading belt, pliers, boga clipped in, place to keep stuff semi-dry, you know, in, in, in your in your in your in your box here. Alright? It's actually dry. Alright? Small little box. Good rod, good reel, good line, and your favorite lures. You know, when I get out of the boat, I always ask Renee, I said, what 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 you want to throw today? And she says, what are you throwing? <laughs> good point all right all right we enjoy you uh writing for you appreciate you buying the magazine reading the articles and hope you get some good stuff out of this article <laughs>